Hey, hi. Hey, y'all. We are back, and we actually managed to find a stray developer. So we actually have another game to quickly talk about with you guys. That is going to be uh, Chef de Party. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly, but we have a little clip to show you here, and then some chats with the developer about their process. So right. let's go ahead. Let's check it out. Didn't play with them already, but here's the progress. <laughs> Inspired by Delicious in Dungeon, which I do know that show. I used to see it in my anime list is forever growing. Backstories, moving characters. Again, some cute music for the background. You got me with the cooking system. Gone. I love cooking systems. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, and it reaches your party members too, so you can see their yeah. status and information. That's cool. Our layout for this uh, with the pantry, the dish status, planting, like that's really true, right? Yeah. Be very efficient with that. Mm -hmm. Like taking one of those like cooking simulator games and then like but like putting all of it into one yeah. like small like UI screen. And then some credits, okay, what's up? Awesome, awesome. Well, I just want to first thank you for even being on here to share because I know it's you know work in progress and how game gems go with submissions and and the craziness that um, that causes. So thank you so much. Um, so well, I no, definitely want to. Okay, go ahead. No, no, thank you just like sharing and hosting. Like it was just even a good ch get a chance to share and get out there and work on a different project than I've normally been working on for a while. Yeah, that like honestly, like I would love to understand how you guys even you know came up with this concept and and what you guys got done and maybe what you would have liked to implement uh, if given more time and whatnot. But uh, yeah, go ahead and just chat to us about like the development process for you guys. Uh, sure. Basically, like it really was just like three days before the jam started. I noticed it. I'm like, oh, let's go ahead and join. And I think one of the biggest things I really wanted to the goal is that. I like the idea that you would work on the, you would basically make the meal, but you wouldn't do the actual battling or anything like that. So how well you made the meal would decide things. Because like one of the biggest like kind of things with the list in dungeons is simply eat food because you need food to think and do things and stuff like that. And plus, I kind of like the idea of just being able to talk with different characters, find out what their tastes were, and try to make what would work best for them and not just made sense. And um, I think for the most part, yeah, we just gathered and I really want to thank our Cloth and Pop because they were just banging the sound of the piano and we gathered like in real life, like immediately and just had been working on it. And then after that, it's kind of just communication, sitting down and putting our 
heads down on it. So this was the first, uh, this was not first game jam I did, but definitely the first one in a long while. Mm. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, do you guys like have any plans to like implement stuff further um, or whatnot, or just continue working on this past this time period or? Um, I definitely feel like I'm open. I'm open to doing that because I had a lot of, lot of fun kind of working on it. I'm, and I'm excited from the story, if you can tell from all the text I've already written. And I'm also very eager to see what uh, my pro program partner, Chip Layron, comes up with and all of that because they just had such great ideas themselves. So hope, I hope so. Awesome. Okay. I mean, personally, I really love the concept of the, of the whole thing. You know, it's like a, not like a common type of, I don't know, a narrative uh, around like a gameplay narrative, you know, that you see uh, with these some of these elements that y'all featured uh, working together with the cooking and then collecting of your items and the different ways that those two things can like come together and progressing with your party members and those kinds of things. Uh, you know, those are not usually a focus point for just a, a game itself. It's like those are like extra features on like larger games, right? Typically, so it's kind of neat to be able to dial in on those ideas see like how how deeper you can get into some of those concepts you know so i'm i dig it <laughs> yeah, I, yeah i very much wanted to like uh oh sorry <laughs> i very much wanted to um represent the show very well because it's not like a standard show in how it talks about fantasy like a world and all that so i was like okay i gotta get that vibe of the show correct yeah yeah, I love the elements that you uh, you focus on. I think I'm used to a cooking like game having to do with okay, we're trying to fill up this restaurant. There's like a time pressure to it, or you know, like the cooking mama style. But this kind of incorporated the fact that like when you are in like a communal space with other people, um, making sure everybody's fed. That like community aspect of it, and I think that definitely makes it unique. And you know, I'm I'm always a sucker for multi-panel UI windows. So like that efficiency level to it is really cool. So definitely awesome i love that i love that can't wait to see what you guys do if you uh do expand on it in the future so uh, i'll be happy to show you <laughs> that's awesome. real yeah looking forward yeah well thank you so much for uh hopping on and, and sharing something i think it was it's always cool to like just even see progress of people um throughout these things because you can really birth some amazing ideas so thank you for sharing and coming on here you're very welcome. Thank you for organizing. Absolutely. <laughs>